And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our 1.0 tutorial series. All right. I need to revamp my transport belt system because we have now red. We have the next tier of belt, and that will help in our production setups as you know we mine more, as we as we craft more, we can move stuff down down the way much much faster um, twice as fast as this stuff here but fitting this in in this setup it would be futile uh, it would be rather messy and I end up you know refactoring my mall several times during a playthrough I mean it's it really is something you get used to there are definitely blueprints out there that you can get that you know maximize your your efforts here so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go along. Let's see. What am I short on? Um, circuits. Circuits are something I can grab. Because we might as well use the next tier of assembly machine while we do this. So I'm going to grab all the inserters so they, they don't do anything unnecessarily and then we are going to craft um, I'm gonna switch this out middle middle mouse click replace that there so let's plan this out we're gonna need belt so belt here let's do underground down here and splitter up there and we're gonna go one two three we're going to do the next tier of belt, the next tier of splitter, and the next tier of underground. And then there's one after that. There's the blue belt, so we're going to make sure we have that set up right over there. Um, I need some I need some gears. Let me grab the gear maker. <clears throat> okay, take that away, take those away. And we can work out. Oh no, missed a, I missed an inserter. All right, kind of fill our, it's going to fill this up a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we are going to have a bunch of steel chests. And I'll get into why in a little bit. Let's uh, get some light over here. There we go. Can I get, ooh, only one, I can only get one more light. Apparently I'm out of copper. So, long reach ahoy, let's just grab some copper. I do wanna I do wanna automate these, that would be so nice, but I don't have any copper over here. None of this stuff uses raw copper. Okay, so we're gonna go here and here and here. So I've researched quite a few things. Um, I've researched circuits, I've researched uh, warehousing, some some weapon stuff. I do have research the next level of mini loader, but those require stack inserters, which are beyond our reach at the moment. Okay, so this, let's say, let's just put some belt in here, right? I, I'm gonna need some belt, obviously. Um, so there's gonna be underground. Let's put a couple of those in there. Um, let's drop in some splitters like that. Uh, all right, so I want these to craft the first tier and then immediately upcraft to the second tier. Now the second tier is going to require pretty much the same things as the first tier. I mean, it's 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 close. There's iron here, but there's gears here. There's iron and gears here. There's gears here, but no iron. Um, and the gears here, iron here. So if we want to maximize this, we're going to want some gears. We're going to want a lot of gears. And I think over here, we could probably get away with putting in some gear production. Um, one, two, three, four, right here. So if we plan just a line of this with some, no, not those, uh, these. 
So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. eight. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, I think. I think. It's kind of hard to judge sometimes. Yep. Like that. So these are all going to be iron. And all of this is going to be made into gears. Okay, we're going to need some coal, of course. So probably the best of... It's icky. It's, this is going to be icky in here. We're going to go there. Underground up to there. Because I don't want to mess with this line over here, because if we want to extend steel, we're going to need that space to do that. Okay, let's just skirt the edge up to here. Leave as much space for extra circuits as we can. Okay. Uh, now, for the output, So by my rough back of the napkin math, roughly four smelters per crafter for gears. Okay, so we have 20 smelters, which means we could do five crafters for gears. And that's just a rough, like, yeah, let's try to make that work. And see what the ratios turn out to be. So we're going to want one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Something like that. So that's a whole lot of gear production. And I'm going to need a lot more inserters. So... And the other thing I want to point out is uh, how to do circuitry. So I'm going to make some red wire. And this is just the absolute basic, like, this is just a very simple example of what is possible with the circuit network system. So I want this to supply my blue inserters. I want, I want to convert my entire base over to blue inserters. But I don't want to fill this. I don't want to fill this up with with uh, these inserters. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect with the red wire this inserter to this chest. Wink. And if we turn off Alt here, you can see there's a little thing right there. So now when we click on it, it's going to read the contents. Right. This I want to enable disable it. Okay. So right now it's disabled. It will not insert more into there. Even if we open that up, you can see it's not pushing more in. So what we want to do is we want to gate this enabled condition to equal when the inserters in the box are less than, let's say, 50. Okay, Only enable when this thing drops below. That way I can dump all of my inserters into it and it won't It'll just upcraft those until it hits, <clears throat> until it drops below one stack, and then it'll push them in. Okay, now I can grab a whole bunch of these glorious things, and it will it will pull out of this chest until it's all the way down to one stack, and only then will it make new ones. I want to I want to make some more um, assembly machines. Just so I can speed this up, because we're gonna—it's—you oh, it's, go through thousands of inserters. I honestly don't know how the game is able to simulate all this stuff and not just absolutely crash. I mean, it's—it's it's amazing. It's amazing that the game can can do what it does. Okay, same thing over here. I want these to only craft 
when they drop below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one up to less than, let's say, 20 of the splitters. Okay. Then I'm going to copy and paste and paste. Okay. Now you just set your belt. No, your belt. And we can set the number to, let's say, 100. Okay, this one I want underground belt less than 20. That's perfect. So this will make only when this drops below a certain level. And that's what we want. It drops below a stack. Now these uh, can be fuel or not fueled, but basically we can set up this system um, to craft and it won't actually it won't fill these it won't fill these up it's a huge waste of resources if you do that um, now that we have a whole bunch of inserters do I still have hey look at that I still have that in my paste uh, so we can do there and there and instead let's see if it actually is smart enough look at that it keeps even though we're not using yellow inserters And if you paste multiple things, you can hit Control V and, and then like Shift Mouse Wheel, all all the way through all of the stuff that you've copied before. I don't know how many how many it saves, but it's 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 a few. So I'm trying to pepper this series with little tidbits, quality of life hints and tips on the game because the game is full of great quality of life features. Um, by far the best game I've ever played in terms of ease of use and stuff. So huge, huge boon to players who play this game because, man, you, they so much. And I'm out of things. And uh, yeah, I did not I did uh, research the next level of power pole. So we'll get into that when the time comes. This is going to be a lot of gears, but we're going to need a lot of gears up here. Iron, iron. So the only one that needs gears is this middle one here. So I'm thinking let's just make gears locally for that. Since it's one gear, <clears throat> one gear makes two belt, which is fine. Um, so we also need iron here, iron here, and iron up there. So let's grab this iron here this one don't really need anymore so none of these need raw iron and uh, let's put that third one down uh, okay so you are gonna be iron and then iron you are gonna be iron and iron so iron here iron and <clears throat> gears iron and iron now this one wants iron and i've uh, i researched another set of inserters whichever one it might have been this one yeah okay so we have more options when it comes to moving inserters this is why i love bob's mod so if we hit shift e you can see now we have diagonal access to things and stuff so you can see this right now i want to pick up on the corner and drop off on the corner. So now this is basically picking off here, dropping into there. It's, it's beautiful. 
Um, and then we want to go under U. We want there and there. Okay, so none of these need, you know, I don't need to push red into this one or this one. This, this is where you want the spread. Um, and then we're going to want another set. And here is where you can do limits without needing to put limits in the chest itself. Okay, so I don't want to use this to limit this. I want to use the circuit network to limit it. So I'm going to copy and paste you, and you are going to be red, and I want, I want 100. I want two stacks of those. Uh, copy this, paste there, change this to red. I want 1,000 in here. A lot of, lot of belt. Copy and paste. And I want this. Oh, first, let's change that to, to red, and then this to 50. So one stack of inserters or uh, one stack of splitters is good to go there now we need gears gears and more gears so what we're going to do is we are going to go through like this and introduce the gears on this side this gear is already taking up but we don't need to worry about that one uh, but these we we do we want gears over here so gears Gears, gears. So let's set you to there. We can copy and paste that and there. So now that's all of the gears. Now these undergrounds take a lot of gears. 40 gears per set. So a ton of gears are going to be used. Um, which means what I would like to do is set up a buffer system you can see how that automatically rotates when it gets gets where it needs to go all right so gears are coming in uh, let's get some light over here why not Okay, so this is just going to make gears. I want to see how far, well, this is going to have to run a while before it completely empties out. Uh, okay, power-wise, I want to use some medium poles. Because medium poles are just way better. So you can see, this is a small pole. You can see it's two squares on each side. Medium pole is an extra square so it's three squares on a side so it just it is able to support that much more like that You're pulling in things and stuff. Wow, how many circuits is that? Ten circuits. Wow. Okay, so let's let's supply some gears. So this is uh, I'm not. I could add two more inserters. I could add an inserter here and an inserter here, in order to bring this up. But you can see. When it doesn't have very long, you know, when the rotation is fast, it can push a lot of gears at a time, like a lot. So we're not going to worry <clears throat> about adding extra there because uh, when you do these sideways ones, you could make it even faster um, <clears throat> if you really wanted to go crazy about it. When they, well, the less they have to move, the faster they're going to load. So you can see we're slightly, yeah, we're at a slight loss. Um, 
We might even get away with adding one more. Or, let's take you. We're going to replace, replace you. <clears throat> There's a little bit of a hitch. So we're not getting the maximum amount of throughput out of here. So if we do that, we're really going to be pulling the iron. Now we're at now we're at peak peak production. Oh yeah. And now we're having problems getting it all the way to the end. <clears throat> so yeah. Huge amount. Gears are crazy. How many gears you use? Getting all this stuff set up. Uh, and then let's let's finally get that up and running here. <clears throat> okay, so this is still not pushing in here. So this is going to build up after all of this backs up. It has to back up a little bit. Um, we're already less than 20 over here, so this is pushing these in. So that's working fine. And you can see this 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 is red. This little light right there, that's red. That means it's not pushing. When they're green, like this one, that means it's enabled. It sounds obvious, but you know, I I like to be thorough. <clears throat> so as this as soon as this drops below 20 undergrounds, it's going to um uh it's going to start moving ones into there <clears throat> and this is going to be pushing a lot of belt and the reason you want to set subs like this up um, is later on when you get a logistic system you can have the system automatically upgrade things for you <clears throat> which is nice okay so inserters are good um, should we try to auto craft these so if we want the next level of assembly machine, let's first hook up, well, let's get that upgraded. Hook that up so it disables production. Nope. This less than, let's do 10. So when there's less than 10 in there, so I should be able to open that up, nothing is transferred. I do love it when stuff works. So this is going to be level twos. And we need circuits and steel. So circuits can come in right there. And we're going to have another one here. We're going to have this there. Connected, we're going to copy and paste, make this level 2, and make this 50. Okay, so now we need gears. Um, And I'm going to use my spare mini loader. And we're going to load that stuff right in there. And the other thing it needs is steel. Okay, so <clears throat> we don't have steel anywhere over here yet. It's going to be this line. Let's get our first red underground. Because these can go two more squares. Like that. Now, when usually when I have a modded game and I've got better, better stuff to go around, um, 
Usually I mod these undergrounds to go quite a ways. Now is our steel area... Steel area has calmed down. Look at that. Calmed down quite a bit. Gears are still just going gangbusters. Okay, now we want to push steel down the line here. Fortunately, that's going to really kick, kick this system back up and running. Just when our pollution was starting to go down. But now we have the ability to autocraft these. So that's going to pull in some steel. It's actually not bad. I mean, it's like two steel a piece, so it's, it's really not bad. Um, uh, can I make one more of those? Be glad to not have this stuff too bad. Okay. So yeah, you can see how many how many gears this uses. It's crazy. In order to fill this stuff up. So we're gonna dump all of our yellow material away. And uh, we're gonna middle mouse click all of those. So you are going to be red, red, and red. We're going to get rid of that inserter. Crazy. Crazy how many gears that is. Let's set this to 50. There's 50 in there. 50 is fine. I mean, that's, I mean, it's 25 crafts at 40 gears a piece. That's a lot of gears. Um, 40 times 25. So what is that? 25 times 4 is 100. So that's 1,000 gears for a stack of these. 1,000 gears. It's crazy. So now that this is backed up and full... Now gears can go along and, you know, move on to, to bigger pasture, better pastures here. So you can see our, our iron here is not doing so hot. I thought it was, that was going to be enough, but apparently I was wrong. So we're going to speed this up a little bit. And now we can go here and speed this up. And since those are blue inserters, they'll have no problem picking up off that belt. <coughs> all right, so now, now we have iron coming all the way to the end. And that should help boost up gears a bit. So the reason I like putting buffer chests like this on here is once this all backs up, and you're let's say you're off doing, off doing oil. So we're off over here. Ooh, look at that, 61 million uranium. Yes, please. Um, you're off doing oil or you're off, you know, somewhere else. Um, while you're doing that, the system backs up and, and stops. Well, I'd like to have, you know, something being backed up here. That way when I come and grab another thousand belt, there's a whole bunch of gears ready and waiting over here uh, to be used. So, yeah, it's just personal preference. No, nothing else besides that. So it looks like we're doing just fine. Steel is fine. Oh, we have a red light. See this red light? A little dial there. There's a green one, and then there's a red one. That means this is out of material, and it can be recovered. So out of, the, out of the 27 million that we started with, we are down to 27 million. Okay, yeah, it's going to take a while. 
it's going to take a while to, to uh, put a dent in that number, but we will dent it very much so. So, yeah, it, it's it's going to be a thing. Okay, mini loaders. I mean, oh, undergrounds, really? Fast inserters and undergrounds and steel. That is a brutal. Why is it undergrounds? Why? Wow, you are, you are slow there we go all right now look at that 50 assembly machines ready and right waiting for us it's a boon getting this stuff automated is is massively helpful you know once you get this stuff going very very helpful uh, let's put a light up by this. You know, if you want an example of circuits, right? We can we can run an example of circuits. Let's let's do something like this. Um, let's see. And I want a few lights. Five lights should be good. I'm going to do a constant combinator. I'm going to do a this here. And then I'm going to hook them up. Each color, red and green, those are different, basically different networks. So if you have one one thing, you can actually split the networks apart. Um, so I want them this to connect to the chest, and then I want this to connect to that constant combinator. I want the output to actually be a color. Okay, green. Now, these will use colors, right? And I'm going to set all those to use colors. Copy and paste, again, works with almost everything in the game. Okay, so I want to have this represent the amount of belt that's in here, right? And I have this already set to 1,000 belt. So this one, I want this when belt is... Uh, let's say, let's say a thousand is equal to a thousand. I'm going to copy and paste that all the way across. So now we have the same setup. Now we just need to modify the setup. So when the belt is equal to a thousand, okay, when the belt is greater than, let's say, 800. Because it's we have five here, so we need slots of two hundred. Okay, when it's greater than not eight thousand, good lord, eight hundred. I'm gonna copy and paste that down, and this is gonna be when it's greater than six hundred. Okay, copy and paste. This is gonna be four hundred. Okay, this one down here is gonna be greater than one one four six eight that's greater than 800 I need this like two four six well if we had a, maybe one more let's do a light here so copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste this is going to be 200 Bingo. So this is greater than 1. This is greater than 200. Greater than 400. 600. 800. And full up to the top. So as more and more belt gets shoved into here, um, I can even show that by coming over here, putting this in there. Oh, look at that. We've got an extra one there. 
And, oh yeah, not a whole lot. And as I take them out, you can see, so this is just a really simple, and then this is just giving it a color, right? So th that's all this does um, is give it a color. And so you can actually set different colors to different lights if you really wanted to. I needed to hook this one up, otherwise it would have been... It would have not not picked it up. So yeah, once this belt, if this chest has exactly a thousand in it, this will be full, and this will tell me uh, how much belt is, you know, is in there. I can even put like this along there and say, hey, look at that, there's belt going in, <clears throat> and that's a really basic system for you know visually showing, you know, something in the game. And you can do this with, you know, pretty much anything you can store. There's tons of, th <laughs> there's so many things that you can do regarding this here. I could have one of these for each item. I could have them, you know, warning lights. I can just go crazy. You can have belts. You can be reading this um, and show, hey, we've got a problem or, you know, whatnot. Could have one on the end here that reads to make sure there's iron there. If there's no iron there, it like there's even a speaker that you can do that sends out a tone. So yeah, there's tons of stuff that you can do. It's great. But that's gonna do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.